Welcome to another episode of GitHub Copilot. Today we are going to explore the Mermaid Chart extension from GitHub Marketplace. Mermaid is used for converting the code into system design diagrams and the associated diagrams. Mermaid is mainly based on diagram as a code format where you can capture the diagrammatic representation in the form of a code. In one of the previous videos, we have explored how to create Mermaid.js based diagrams from Copilot itself. That video is available as part of our uh, tech drills. How we can generate software design diagrams using GitHub Copilot, where we generated the Mermaid.js code and then we copied this code into MD file and rendered the diagrams accordingly. This is the approach we taken already. Just using the Copilot, GitHub Copilot, we are able to generate the Mermaid.js diagrams. So let us see how this new extension, the Mermaid extension, adding value on top of this Copilot capability. So for that, we'll start with installing this Mermaid chart extension go to github marketplace copilot and look for mermaid chart we have mermaid chart as one of the copilot extension available here it is based on the github app format in our previous video we discussed about vision extension which is used for image processing and it's a vs code extension available in vs code marketplace but Mermaid is a GitHub app based extension available in GitHub Marketplace. You can go through the steps explained here, the constraints and everything. Then let us go ahead and install it as I have an option for installing it for zero dollar. Let me go ahead and complete the installation. Going ahead and installing the Mermaid extension. The installation is completed. Under my applications, I can see Mermaid chart got added and I can use this using at the rate Mermaid chart in my Copilot chat. Let us start exploring this with the browser based Copilot. I'm going to a particular repository let me go ahead and attach one of the file from my repository. Um, there is a listing component available. I'm taking the TS component of that and I try to ask mermaid. So at the rate mermaid chart, generate the flow diagram for this file. So I am trying to generate a flow diagram for this file. The first step will be you need to connect. So I just click on connect and it goes for authorization of Mermaid's chart. I did the authorization and it's end up in the Mermaid area. Once it's connected, let us go to the ID and check how this Mermaid graph can be used here. Let me ask Mermaid here. If your ID is already open, you need to close and reopen to get this at the rate mermaid chart. So let us try to generate class diagram for this uh, property controller. So I am asking mermaid to generate class diagram for my file. The file is property controller. Let us see how mermaid is going to generate the class diagram for this particular one it's able to generate the class diagram for rendering it I can go to the mermaid chart playground let me just open this one and see how it's going to render it so this is the property controller the class with uh, the corresponding diagram is available here so we have the class diagram for this particular. Let us um, take another example of a property listing component and asking Mermaid to generate a flow chart for 
again passing the file here the property listing component and expecting mermaid to generate a flow chart for this particular component it's generated the flow chart let us uh, explore it in the mermaid playground to understand whether it's generated properly initializing then fetching rendering handling user interaction so this is the flow of this particular one so sometimes we may need a different diagrams maybe a sequence diagram create the sequence diagram for her file property component and let me just pass one more file there is a property details component so i'm just passing two files and asking mermaid to generate a sequence diagram indicating the sequence of steps involved so it came up with the details let me again open it in the mermaid playground to understand how it looks like you have the user hitting the user property listing from there it can navigate to property details and come back so here i can do editing and add new messages enhance this diagram further and it reflect the same as part of the code if i want to do some modification that can reflect in the code and once it's a modified i can take it back to the vs code and generate the corresponding code explore the mermaid chart extension and try to see how it can help you generating the mermaid diagrams based on your code in case you don't want to use this extension go ahead and explore our previous video we explain how to generate different software design diagrams using copilot prompt engineering you may not require the mermaid chart extension for generating most of these diagrams with copilot alone you will be able to generate the diagrams and render using your md files try it out thank you